here we go. We're back with another uh, tutorial video. This one is going to be the first one where we actually start um, coding. Now, in this one, um, I'm going to we're going to create the platform um, header, and so what that'll do is it'll define will define a lot of macros, um, and you know I'll explain what that is in a little bit, but that those will allow us to detect what platform we're actually um, you know building to and uh, it'll set up our our export macros so our, our API macro that will allow us to actually build or tell the compiler what we want to um, export into our DLL because the way DLLs work is you write some code then you tell the compiler I want this code to be linked in inside the DLL so that I can then include that DLL in another project and access the, the API that I wrote um, as long as I have the header files so that's how that kind of stuff works um, so here we go we're gonna open up Vixen tutorial now last if you remember last tutorial we um, set up our our github uh, repository to now have our source that we copy over you know when we build um, so we have basically they call that a build system you know in, in development so we have a, our build system it's very you know basic but it's still better than nothing um, so here we go now this game class we're not really going to touch in from you know in a while um, really we're going to create all the lower level stuff first so in here um, I'm going to create a, a little note so in here we're going to uh, define um, preprocessor processor macros for DLL export import and uh, system um, system yeah so to start that um, we're going to first define our system macros so uh, we'll start off with if def win32 so that's how you basically um, figure out whether or not you're on win32 um, we're going to define uh, system windows. And we're also going to do um, some other stuff too. We're going to, um, if not define, no min max. We're going to define no min max. Um, Um, now we're going to do the Linux ones. Um, so, if define Linux, system Linux, um, uh, I think it's Apple, right? Yeah. Sharp define um, VIX or pound define. It's really called pound, but I like to say sharp. <laughs> uh, uh, Mac OS. So here's our first um, sort of system macro block. Um, now let me explain what this is. Now this is for um, defining the um, min and max macros. So the reason is STL has a um, an issue with 
the min and max that's defined in windows.h uh, windows.h um, which screws them up and we're going to be using STL we're not really going to be using you know any of the a lot of the windows macros they're really not not that useful um, especially min max so we have to define this um, of course Um, so, that's it for our system stuff. So now here um, is where we're going to define the platform um, DLL stuff. So first we're going to do if not defined um, VIX static, um, static build, which is called build. Because uh, none of this, what's what we're going to do here, is actually going to apply to a static build. If you want to build a static library, you actually don't have to um, really declare any export macros. It just builds the, into the library file, um, which means it's if you have a really large engine, you're not going to really want to build it um, statically. You're going to want to have a DLL because it'll be harder on the application to load from a static library. Um, I'm gonna do the closing end if, and what we're gonna do is first do if um, if def uh, fix no if if not yeah if not defined fix non client build or actually no if def fix non client build so what this is gonna say is that if we're if we have this defined, which we will, um, for the DLL, that means that we're going to want to um, do ex uh, do export macros. Um, now, actually, if if def uh, vix system windows because this is largely going to be on the Windows stuff, um, we're going to do uh, sharp define um, fix API as being uh, declare spec DLL export. Else, we're going to want to Define fix API as declare spec deal import, and I'm just going to end if that, and then we're going to tab these in so it makes sense. Um, that needs to have that on it. Um, Okie dokie. So let me explain these. Now, as you can see, it highlighted up because we haven't defined VIX non-client build. So let's do that right now. And to do that, we need to go into, um, uh, is that linker? No, C++, C++ preprocessor. Now, um, you can sort of ignore most of these and what we're going to want to do is define vix non client build and apply that now it seems it looks like it might have already because we specified a DLL project it, it already uh, defined this um, we're not really going to use that one or care about it um, it may have been defined as uh, DLL export for us, declare spec DLL export, but um, we're not going to just rely on that. Um, we want to have our switch one. Uh, so, okay. So now, as you can see, this one highlighted up. Um, so now, v VIX API is for purpose of, of this build. Um, 
this engine build, it's going to be declared as DLL export. Okay, so now I can add in. We can add in the other ones. Um, now there's there's a a uh, as you can see, this is the other one that I build. This is compiler warning. Um, we can define. Um, I can't remember exactly what this was for. I think it's for. Uh, Four two five one. Okay, so let's look into this actually. Okay, it's it's an issue with declare spec if you um. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's actually quite important. Um, what this is telling, what this that warning would tell you, which we are going to suppress because we don't want to flood our um, project with a bunch of warnings. Oh no! I just copied it and then uncopied it. What we're gonna want to do is suppress this because. Uh, we know that we might be doing some dangerous things and we don't need to be told that constantly um, such as static data um, let me say something right now the STL or standard library some of those container classes are an example of data that can't really be exported statically across DLLs there are serious problems with that and memory corruption um, so that's like one one instance of of why it's uh, dangerous to to be doing things like that, um, and this this compiler warning is is one of the things that would tell you um, that that's an issue. Um, so next next we're gonna do is do the other ones. So. Defined uh, or defined fix is macOS. So we're going to check the um, uh, Linux and macOS, and then what we're going to do is we're going to check the. Um, if def is it G C C G C C version? Forget G C C version. GNU C C version. GNU C. Okay. Um. Yeah, GNU C greater than or equal to. It's gonna have the visibility attributes. Um. And then yeah, the static. Okay. So sharp uh if if def uh can can you see is that? Yeah. So what that was checking, what this is checking is um the GNU C version needs to be greater than or equal to four, which it should be if you're actually doing Linux development. I mean, anything less than four was uh, years, ages ago, I think. Um, you know, GCC and you know, G++, the GNU compiler collection. Um, so if def, uh, we're gonna define find. Um, Yeah. Yep. Uh, Vix API as attribute. Attribute. Visibility default. I'm just going to copy this. Yeah, it's. I've never actually built on um on Linux. Mm. 
Um, so I'm assuming that it's sort of um, the default option if it even has visibility into, you know, if it has anything set, like an attribute, they just assume that you are building into, building an SO um, file. Otherwise, you're building statically, and it doesn't doesn't care. Um, which might be a better design, actually, if you think about it. Um, Visual Studio might. And if okay, so here we go. We have uh, System Linux or System Mac OS, which you know actually, if you're not using Visual Studio, you're going to be using one of those. Um, so can you see Vix and let's end if on that, right? What's that end if for? And if and then else, we're going to want to just again define and I think we're good actually. Let's build, build succeeded. Let's go in here and test out our you know little build system. Get status. So just, see, it's, it tells you that VIX platform was modified, so we're going to want to get add um, include. And it adds um, the VIX platform changes. And then we're going to want to get commit. Um, implemented uh, VIX implemented platform macros. And we're going to want to push. So let's refresh our thing again. So now we can go in here, look, implemented macros, and here's our macro class, our you know platform class um, header. So uh, that's it's pretty neat our build system. Um, so now we can go ahead and actually start coding um, and exporting our, our DLL. And to to show this, uh, we can actually just use that existing game that we did, class. So, VIX API. We're going to preface um, right before, right after the, the type, so class. It's the, this is the type of thing it is. It's a it's a class game. As you can see, if you hover over in Visual Studio, it'll tell you what it's defined as. So right now, it's defined as the declare spec DLL export, and that's all you really have to do. It'll apply it to all the members um, if it, if you de uh, define it at the class level, except for I think um, some templated stuff and maybe friend functions not I'm not exactly sure um, but yeah um, if we build we should get we get the DLL and we get the library as you can see it compiled the library and the DLL um, and those outputted to our dev environment directory So in Vixen Tutorial, Vixen 132 Debug, we have our DLL and we have our um, object file library. So this is the .lib, this is the DLL. Now the .lib and the DLL are both needed in order to develop um, with your engine. So that's it for pretty much for this tutorial and setting up the platform um, macro. Now. The what this is going to be used for um, is sort of a uh, way to wrap around code that we don't want to be on certain platforms. Now, as you can see, this is the Win32 um, Win32 library project. So 
all the code in in this that's wrapped in Vix system windows macro if defs it will pre-process process and actually build into the DLL if any of these are defined any code that's that's wrapped in this um, will not be compiled into the DLL which if you think about it shrinks your you know shrinks your your actual compiled code base and it will make it so your cross-platform code doesn't immediately break when you go to try and build it on Windows and you have a bunch of Linux specific stuff like uh, you know x11 libraries um, same thing goes for Mac if you have you know Coco or whatever their you know GUI system is um, so thanks for watching and um, the next tutorial will actually create the uh, the Win32 um, application class that will then allow us to um, test and render our first window. So thanks for watching. Um, see you soon.